Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher. I'm out in my cold weather foundry. It's uh, November, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm going to make a casting of this hand wheel. You watched the other video, I hope, where I made the match plate. So, assembling the flask. I'll start with the other side because I think I'm going to run a, a big sprue right in the center as a riser. See how that works. So I'll start on this side. I ran this sprue way, way too close to the actual pattern cavity. I hope it's all right. There's an awful lot of sand that fell in along the parting line. I expected some of that because of the elephant footing. So let's see if this will withdraw. This is going to be the hard part because of that boss that's on the other side. I hope this pulls. And I think it's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and blow it off, reassemble it, and it's ready to pour, I hope. I'm not real happy with this. There was a lot of fall in. I will pour through this hole. It's sputtering rain out there a little bit. I might have to hold off before I fire the furnace up. Let's see if it shrinks much in what I call the riser as it cools. And as it shrinks, it's feeding the casting. I'll be back in an hour. It's an hour later, and we'll open up the mold. See what we got.
Well, there it is. I was a bit worried about shrinkage on this hub, but of course since that was down that wasn't really a problem, but it looks alright on the top too, doesn't it? And those ugly screw heads I'm going to grind off. I don't like the looks of those at all. So I think I'll take it downstairs and oh, let's look at that boss. That looks all right. Now there's a lot of flashing around here, which I knew there would be from the amount of sand laying in the mold. But you know, there is flashing on every casting. It's just that if you buy a casting or if you've got castings in your machine someplace, the flashing was removed by workers at the foundry, so you generally don't see that. So let's go down to the basement. Let's take another look at this. And I'm not going to cut this off and clean it up until the following video where I do all the machining. And I probably will make another one of these because I have two machines. And maybe I can get one with fewer defects. I do not like the fact that it fell in there just a little bit. And I mentioned that during the mold making. The screw heads, again, are real ugly and I will take those off. And I don't know what caused that other than possibly I didn't ram the sand hard enough at that point. Remember this will be machined off here so that doesn't matter. As will this side. And there will be a set scoop and that boss. Now you can imagine how nice it would be if this hole had been cored. And then at this point all I would have to do is enlarge it, ream it, or board or whatever is the necess uh, the need as a 5 8 hole. So that completes this video. Be sure and watch the following one where I finish this up and put it on the machine and you can see that's going to give me a lot more leverage than the smaller one. This is cast iron. Alright, this is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. I'll see you next time.